Hey, hey, I think we are live here. We are coming to you live from Louisville, Kentucky today. We are at the Green Industry Shows 2019. 19 acres of lawnmowers and outdoor power tools. It's all happening right here in Louisville. We're gonna do a quick walkthrough here. This is a, probably gonna be about a 20 minute video somewhere in that ballpark if the internet holds up and everything works right. And uh, yeah, you're gonna get to see some cool things. I'm gonna try to get you the names of the companies in the booth. Man, that sounds terrible. I'm going to try to get you the names of the company so you can look these things up online. Now keep in mind, this is meant as a, a green industries, people who are landscaping, the professionals. This is their show. So for those of us who are homeowners, some of these things are way beyond us, but they're still cool to look at. So let's jump into this. We're going to just start going that direction and work our way back and forth and check out GIE 2019. Hey, there's some of the guys there, right there. Thank you. So this is a, an industry event for the, the landscapers, the people who do the commercial mowing and different things. This is kind of their, their <laughs> it's, like, it's like the North Pole. It's like Santa's workshop here for, the, for the, anyone who does a lot more. Different companies, like Bluebird right here. You've got different devices. Oh, they've got a lot of battery powered stuff going on there. Seeing some generators here. This is all part of, of this Green Industries show here. You've got companies that you know, and a lot of companies that are new, new to the industry that we've not heard of before, like TY Time Tractors, Time Hyphen Tractors. It's a new one I've not heard of. Oh, well, that's kind of a cute little, cute little uh, back backhoe there. Excellent. Some more, more things going on here. that's the bush hog right right there and for those of you who are in the colder climates it's really it's chilly here compared to some years it's been in the 80s and even the low 90s we're a little bit cooler than that today but what's neat about the outdoor area here is they have got spots where people can come and test drive oh in this case they've got their little track looks like probably more of a uh, remote control mower on the other side there and some of their zero turns and they can try try them out and have some fun and it's such a big event there's thousands upon thousands of people here they have to shuttle them around with the tractors and trailers so the brush hog booth right here oh look, check that out check out the pink the pink uh, zero turn right there Let's see, we've got RC mowers up here next, which is, as you can see, he's got, he's got the little remote control. He's doing his thing. Thank you for joining us. We are live right now from Louisville. He's got the remote control right there. You can show how these mowers can go up the inclines and do their things that they need to do. I think his phrase is, yes, honey, I'll do the dishes as soon as I can use a remote control device to do the dishes. Exactly. Pretty awesome. What, a, what kind of a, a, a degree angle are we looking at right there? It's 36. 36 degrees. That's deeper than most of the ditches you're going to run into, and there they can handle that safely. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Let's just wander around. We're going to miss a few, and I apologize for that. It's just... The nature of having 19 acres of fun out here. And you'll see that there's a variety of different tools from big landscaping machines, construction cases over there with some big backhoes. Skid steers going on here where people can come in and, and practice and play. Let's just maybe go down this aisle. Trying to find what's gonna be the best, give you guys the best show here. Coming up on the back of the Echo, the Echo booth, they've got some different tools here. Stump grinders, stump grinders, actually I've seen quite a few this year, which is interesting. 
it's, it's always interesting how some years some tools are more popular than others. Stump grinders are really popular this year. Okay, so I just want to come and see the case back holes. That's pretty much what this is. And obviously, there's other people who want to come and see it. We've got quite a few out here. And if you're at this show, it is a go on out there and you get your chance to play. I mean, try them out and demo them. Echo USA. Kentucky Expo Exposition Center here. We're next to the airport, so we have planes flying overhead. X mark with their stand on. They've got zero turn and they've got some professional walk behind mowers. Coming across here, we got New Holland with some skid steers. Landscape professionals can come in here and try things out. Z spray must be part of the X Mark manufacturing. Country Clippers is a zero turn. Zero turn company here. And again, these these zero turns you're seeing here are bigger. There are some that are the residential version. But most of them are the big, the big ones. The boulevard over there, that would be a residential. But they've got the big, the big ones over here that are meant for the professional landscaping. Turf Tech. Getting the soil prepared there with Turf Tech products. Here's another I had not. Coyote? Coyote? I don't know. K-I-O-T-I. -I. Another lawnmower brand I've not heard of before. Overland power carts. Power assisted wheelbarrow and carts for moving things around much easier. Steel green is way over there, way over there. Kind of, I'm an aisle down, so we're going to finish this aisle and then we'll come back. I'll probably swing back on that, that final row. And here's a, a brush. This would be a, a brush mower here for your skid steer. Last deck, I believe. Okay, some different mower decks there. More bark units here. Some front end loaders there. Clausen Steiner Steiner stuff right here. There we go. Yep, I need to look out there. I'm trying to read signs as we're walking along here. Some Steiner devices and of course can be mowers and a variety of different tools snow blowers in this case they've got a front end loader over there and there's the Clausen Clausen stuff and it has been a very wet a very wet fall here we have water mud let's see we got spider a spider must a spider is another right is straight ahead of us a spider is a, another one of the uh, Remote control lawnmowers, and looks like we had the steel green was was uh, some zero turn. 
getting up here to the Kawasaki engines, which Kawasaki engines are on many of the mowers that we have seen here at the show. So they have a variety of mowers up there that people can test drive that feature the Kawasaki engine. Little Wonder is in the booth there. They have different blowers and, and um, tools for edging and landscaping and thatching. And we have Ryan Tools with his mowers right there. Stand on mowers. Bobcat mowers coming up next here which should have a variety of walk behind. Here we go, double walk behind. There should be a stand, stand on, and the zero turn from Bobcat. We're gonna swing over here to Kubota. Kubota's got a track, so you can take one of their little units and go zip around on a side by side, or you can move some dirt with the skid steer at the Kubota booth. And who do we have here? Bad Boy Moors on this side and we are coming to you live here from Louisville just the day is about ready to wrap up we've got 15 minutes so I've got to be moving a little faster here bad boy Moore's display is right there let's see and where's the neck of that aisle we're gonna to have to go up we're gonna to have to go up a, a spot and then we're gonna to have to come back and circle up yeah Kubota they're rolling through the Kubota booth right there 19 acres of, of fun out here. We're going to head on up to the first, I believe this is close enough to the first first aisle. We're going to take this up. So you get Cub Cadets booth right here. So you've got a variety of different machines that they are featuring out here. Cub Cadet has both their commercial um, commercial and a residential line, they would have their commercial line pretty much exclusive, exclusively here. Gravely on this side is, they've got a couple of things, they've got their side-by-sides, they've got some of their mowers and, and devices there. The zero turn, you've got the Michelin Twheel on that particular zero turn right there in, on the middle of the screen. The Never Flat technology. This is the Gravely lineup right here that we're walking by. Aaron's there. Yeah, all the same company. Let's come back to the Cub Cadet. People can go and take a take a spin, have some fun with that. Coming up next after Cub Cadet is Honda. Honda is introducing some a uh, new line of mowers here. The HRN series of mowers right here. The HRN series will be new for 2020, and they are just introducing them for the first time here at the show. The HRN uh, kind of is a step up from their past lines, the past top and top of the line mower from Honda. And we'll get more information, but basically you're getting more power, uh, lighter weight, a uh, more efficient, just engine technology. And the HRN is, is boasting a lot of that technology. Turfco has got a couple of devices out there. Spreaders, and a spreader and a sprayer maybe? Well, not only can you go on the ground, but they've got a cherry picker for up in the air. Now, that would be, like, the most fun. Pretty sure I need one of those. I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure I need one. Must put that into the operating budget. Z-Glide suspension. Must be something on some of the new, uh, on the mowers, maybe an add-on? I don't know. Grammar Inc. Not sure exactly what they what they do. This is where I'm going to give you the names, and you can go search them out. ASV, little skid steer, the most compact version they say. Most compact version in the world. Sure can. We've looked at some of their stuff in the past. Landscaping staples and such right there. Okay, that's what they are from Staple Ease. And a sure can right there. Um, hydro gear there. Let's go to the mean green up here. Oh, there's a cement area to my right that I've never seen before. Mean green is fully electric mowers. 
pretty much everything they have is electric, battery powered. They've got, a couple of years ago, they, they had strictly, strictly uh, um, pro type models, and now they're starting to work their way into the point where you're starting to find people, residential type applications where people are getting excited to get into this. There's some, some folks who would prefer to have all of their tools be battery operated and have a greener footprint. And Mean Green has the electric mowers out there. Skeg power equipment right here on the end has got zero turns. Lawn mowers right there. Oh, let's see. Geo Ripper is over there for cutting a cutting with a, a uh, like a chainsaw device, but into the soil. And there's a couple more over there. I'm just really running out of time, so we're gonna we got to circle back here. So I want to get you through the bulk of the area here. There's a few of the companies over over on the side here. Foam stream over there. I believe that's a foam system for when you're spraying, if I'm not mistaken. No, 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 no. Excuse me. That is a weed killer. Yeah, we got to come back out and shoot that one. That's the weed killer one right there. So you can go kill weeds with foam steam. Foam steam is what it is. That's right. I'm sorry. Well, I get to see, I see so many press releases that it becomes a blur. I apologize for my misinformation because there's probably things you guys are going to see and say, yeah, that's not right. Well, that's what happens when you've been doing this all day, actually for a couple of weeks, trying to research and get ready for this, this event. So I'm going to go down, skip an aisle, fuel by scepter. Okay, so that, that food cart smells really good. Another, another benefit of doing a show like this is that you smell really great food, but you don't have time to eat it because you're, you're running around. Uh, we got, let's see, Stinger. Stinger's got some, it looks like some aeration uh, machines there for the, air. I'm seeing some plugs and a spreader over there. Buffalo turbine, big blowers. And I'm guessing they have a basketball so they can just keep the basketball up in the air on their blower. Big commercial blowers if you want to go and keep everything clean. Yeah, that's what he does. A wood splitter, ah, and a, and an assist, a little uh, wood, assisted wood splitter there, the Spitfire, yep, and here's one of the blowers doing its thing. On the other side, lefthandedrobotics.com. A little stand on skid steer type device. Let's see, come on to this side. Tracked lifts. Tracked lifts that have a track on the bottom and they've got a cherry picker up on his house. Bomang, and it looks like it's a compacting system where you've got a variety of different things for packing. Let's see. Tobrocogiant.com, Tobroco-giant.com. Looks like some more four-wheel four devices. That's the Bomang right there. We've got nine minutes before the doors close, and when the doors close, they run. They head on out. Some additional digging devices here. Let's see, on this side, Altos. Altos right there, there. They've got their zero turn with tracks. It's something that Altos really has gotten into to be able to keep that nose of the machine down a little bit more. Sometimes zero turns can be a little light on the front. Having that bigger wheelbase makes it so you're not crushing the grass quite as much. And it keeps that nose, nose where it's supposed to be. Next we've got Oregon Chainsaw, OregonProducts.com. They've got their, their power tools, battery power tools. You can demonstrate them, play with them a little bit, chainsaws. 
everything's right there let's see so this is this is one of the ones I like to always come out and check out is the Toro one Toro's got their their zero turns they've got their walk behinds over there they've got their I mean they've got their commercial walk behinds way over on the other side then they've got their little walk behinds here that you can get a, a, a chance to to play and of course it's all out here quick and easy to to uh, grab and have some fun with let's see I want to come down and go down this aisle we're gonna check this out we got Billy goat with their their machines over here Ferris over there so we're gonna wrap this up in about five minutes so we got Billy goat and Ferris uh, others we missed over there this is there's a lot, a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, we're going to go in the back side of some of these booths. That's just the way it is. Let's see. A, height, a, a seating there. Looks like we've got Bobcat over there. The Bobcat with their skid steer and their devices. There's a material blower here for putting out mulch and such. You can be blowing out just as easy. Uh, more of that Toro, the back side of the Toro booth here. See a couple of the machines. JCB. A couple of their devices. The Teleskid. Avant. their devices there. Earth movers and diggers and some packing devices. Now we're going to come back over here to our friends at Toro. <laughs> They've got more stuff. They've got their version of their skid to see the stand on landscaping tools there for leveling and smoothing. Post hole digging right there. The dingo! The dingo units of different sizes. From Toro. You're watching us wa walking around live here through the. Oh, uh, that was mud. <laughs> that was really soft and icky. Okay, we're still walking around live out here. This is now we're a little dirtier. This is right. Right mowers right here. Brake mowers to the right of me. Ventrack here, another four-wheel drive unit with multi multi-function with blades and mowers and different seaters and what have you. Vermeer next with more ride on skid loader devices. Let's see, what do we have over here? Malta One in America. World Lawn Power Equipment. Encore Power Equipment. Okay. There we go. The DR, the DR company has some different things out there with their generators and they've got uh, little carts and such and chippers I see chainsaw battery tools a lot of different things Greenworks commercial Greenworks of course has a commercial line as well as their 40 volt and their 60 volt and that 80 volt and here's their their zero turn you hear hear the things going and they have a side by side here in their little area just to try them out and what's cool about it is they could be mowing doing their thing and no one has to yell because the battery power is nice and quiet from Greenworks commercial right there. The Walker machines that are probably some of the nicest ones for getting into, you know, quickly zipping around and getting around trees and things. Great machines, the one the gentleman's driving right there. Nice machines for that. A little on the expensive side, it's an investment. You're going to be putting some money into it. But then once you've got that, you've got maneuverability at a high, high level. 
Spartan mowers. You guys probably check them out on our uh, on our Instagram. If you haven't checked that out, go to Instagram, find Weekend Handyman. They had a cool mower for the neighborhood competition. Got to check that out. Ditch Witch. I'm going to avoid the mud. I'm one, on one hand, the mud is nice because it keeps the dust down. Let's see, this would be the cat. We have three minutes before they're, they're shutting down. And as you can start to see, some of the people are, are wrapping things up. Sunfire heaters down here at the end. Big, big professional level heaters. If you want to be able to warm up a, a, lot, of, a lot of space, the Sunfire is definitely going to do it. Not the homeowner level stuff. This is, this is commercial applications when you've got to thaw the whole building out and you got to do it quick. Let's see. I'm going to try to get you down this last aisle before they throw us out because it is just about 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock, the doors officially close. They'll play the national anthem or something. I don't know what they'll do. And they'll just tell us to go home. And for me, home is, home is right across the road here, wherever right across the road may be. Let's see, TNE distribution. A variety of different things with grapple hooks here. Boy, for, as someone who goes and cuts firewood, this would be awesome. I wonder if I can put that in my suitcase. Those are excellent. Make it a lot easier to handle that firewood. What do we have here? Quick attach attachments. Okay. I'm going to see an auger there and a tiller. Landscaping. A quick attachment there for or digging a, uh, running water lines or something. Yeah, but not water lines so much as electric lines of that depth. John Deere back here with some of their tools. You see some tractors back there. You've got some skid steers up here. You've got zero turns back there that they can take for a test drive. The John Deere booth and the Michigan Michelin Tweel, the airless radial. That's kind of a big thing. Oh, and they've got some of their, their chairs here. So people can have a seat while they get ready to go on the obstacle course. John Deere area here at GIE with their walk behind they've got their gators out here it's a lot of different things depending upon what you want to play with they are here to check out take them for a test drive that way if you are in the market for such a thing you've got a uh, get a uh, wait. John Deere gator stuff hustler lawnmowers is next and they've already shut down for the day but that's okay They've got a nice area here where people can go and practice and try things out. You'll see that there is a pallet out there. As someone who's been teaching kids how, uh, zero turn techni techniques, having a pallet that they can bump into and not kill themselves or break anything is a good idea. Hustler zero turns. They do have residential versions also. But again, they're pretty much focused on, focused on the, the professional units out here right now. Red Max. Is coming up here next. Red Max is one of the companies that is a a, a next generation of one of our older uh, companies that we were very familiar with. And they've got trimmers and different tools out here. They have chainsaws over to the right here. Husqvarna back there. And, and Husqvarna booth right here. Obviously Husqvarna is going to have some... They're going to have their chainsaw things on display. A lot of chainsaw artists here this year. And I know there's always been some, but many, many chainsaw companies and even companies that are just doing chainsaws on the side have got professional chainsaw artists here this year. This is the Ferris machines. Ferris and Simplicity are one and the same company, just a different model, level of model. So we have some Simplicity lawnmowers here, riders. 
and we have some Ferris professional units here that people are taking for a test spin. It is two minutes after five, the doors are closed, but you know what, they haven't thrown me out yet. So we're gonna keep walking and see if we could maybe catch, make sure, well, hmm, yeah, I think we have caught almost everything. We've gotten here, the billy goat. I think that might be it. I do believe that is it. We have hit the full grounds here at GIE, at GIE 2019. It's kind of a complete walk around here, a little bit probably longer than I was anticipating, but hopefully you guys have gotten to see something uh, pretty cool. And if there's any questions on anything, you can put that down in the comment section or you can reach out to me via a message on Facebook, whatever works the best for you, or just go onto their websites and check this stuff out. You might see some things that were here that you won't see yet on the websites because this is kind of where the new things are brought out for this industry. So once again, this is John Young with The Weekend Handyman. Thank you for watching and we will catch you next time. Oh yeah, and watch out for all the other stuff from GIE. Bye-bye.